My name's Jim and I'm going to show you today the tool that I use to create these really amazing book covers and CD covers and all these things that I use. It's called Cover Action Pro and I want to show you how it works and how I use it. So let me show you a couple examples first so you can get an idea. Uh, on my blog, if you scroll down on my blog and you see I have my email list sign up thing here, um, I created this little book icon. See, Web Success Now, and it's got the picture of the people on it. Well, I created that with Cover Action Pro. And uh, here's another one I created. I have a site called Online Video Toolkit. And when you scroll down on Online Video Toolkit, you'll see that this uh, DVD box that I created was created in Cover Action Pro. So uh, Cover Action Pro is this great piece of software that I want to let you know ahead of time you have to have Photoshop to use it. So if you have Photoshop, then keep watching because I want to show you exactly how to make these awesome covers and things that you can do. So those are two examples of things that I've created with uh, Cover Action Pro. I've also created CD covers. I've created uh, membership cards, like credit cards. I've created uh, book covers. I've created all kinds of stuff with it. And here's how it works. So let's go into Photoshop. And basically what you do is you load actions. So uh, they give you all of these actions uh, that you can look at. For example, here's a bunch of the actions I have loaded. So maybe I want to make a box. Uh, let's say I'm going to make a hardback tilted box. So I load the action, and all I do is click on step one, and then I click the play button. And the play button, what that does is it creates the template for the box. <coughs> As you can see, it's going through. And it says, step one completed successfully. Here is where you can start designing your cover. So now I have my cover in here. And now I can change my, change my title to whatever I want. I can call it the new book cover. And I can, let's see, I'll make some adjustments. I'll make that bigger. I'll make that, you know, a different color. I can go in now and I can change my background color to a different color, um, whatever I want. And go through and pick something darker. All right, so there's my new book cover. And now I can uh, add an image if I want. So I can just go in to any uh, image I may have. Um, like, for example, I want to add a picture of myself on the on the front cover, I can go in now and find where's my folder and find some of my headshots in here. And I can find an image of myself and upload it to the book cover. So let's say I want to add this photo of me in Vegas. And right now it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, image size. Now, if you're, if you're worried about this, I mean, if you know anything about Photoshop, it's pretty easy to do. If you don't, uh, you can find somebody who can do it for you. So now I can go in and, and take my image and add it onto the front. If I want to get rid of that word there, I can get rid of that. So, so here's basically what you can do is this. Now watch what happens after I completely customize my book. I just go over to step two, and I click the play button. Now it's going to go through and create my uh, hardback tilted book cover. And as you can see, it's going through all the process needed to make the book cover on its own. All I had to do was click play. And it's going through the processes. In a second, I should have uh, a fully uh, converted version of the I want with it. It's still going through the process here. And there we go. Cover completed. There is my book cover. And now I can take that book cover and do whatever I want with it. Uh, upload it anywhere, do whatever I want. So let me go back here and show you another version of that. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to make a uh, DVD. Uh, let's make a, uh, this is a kind of a cool one. Let's make a member card. So uh, member cards are pretty cool. Maybe you got a membership program that you have putting together. And there, there's the front and the back. So now I can go back in and I'll add my photo onto the membership card again.
Maybe it's a membership card for my for my member program, and I can go and I'll add that behind behind that type there. All right, now all I have to do now is go back in and click Step Two and hit the Play button. Again, you can customize these as much as you want. I'm just showing you how simple it is to do this. Add in any photos, change any type, do whatever you want. Change the colors, do whatever you want. There you go. And there's a membership card for you. I'll show you one more example. Uh, let's do a uh, box. Boxes are pretty cool. If you ever have a product that you want to create, um, you want to illustrate that it's, you know, it may be an information product or it could be anything, but uh, if you have a, a product that you want to promote, you can you can use the box. So let me copy my image there again, and I'll paste it over here on the box cover, just so you can see how this works. And I'll put it on the box, and then I'll just hit that and hit create, and now it's going to go create me a box. But again, you can customize them as as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm just showing you how quickly it is to do this. Um, it uses Photoshop Actions, which are all preset, and they give you all the templates. So if you want to customize them any way you want, you just open them up, create the format, you customize them, hit a button, and boom, your stuff is done. These are the types of things that you literally pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to design. a designer or somebody who wants to produce it. And the, and the truth of the situation is, this is these are the tools that the designers use. So if you're a graphic designer, you should buy the software because you can resell this back to your customer. If you're somebody who just produces a lot of online websites and products and things like that, you should buy it yourself so you don't have to pay that designer. There we go. There's my medium-sized box. So uh, I, uh, this is a really great tool that I think everyone can use. It's called Cover Action Pro. And uh, go uh, to the link here. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel or on my blog, uh, I have a link mentioned in this video. Go check it out. Download it. and Tell me you don't think it's one of the coolest best products you've ever seen that will help you generate more income. The truth of the situation is, if you're selling an information product or a DVD or whatever, when you put a face on it, when you put a box or a label or a CD cover or a DVD cover or whatever, an easing, it makes it more marketable. That's the truth. So go out and try this software. I think you'll really like it. All right. Thanks, everybody.